All right, guys, getting ready for the first snowmobile trip of the season here in 2024. This year has been pretty rough so far. We've had really low snow conditions here in Michigan, but pretty excited. Finally gonna get to go ride tomorrow and uh, try to hit up some snow here in Michigan. So curious, what's your guess? What do you guys think I'm gonna get for fuel economy pulling this trailer? This is seven and a half foot wide, 23 foot long, seven foot tall, dry trailer weight about uh, 2,500 pounds. And I'm probably gonna be sitting with about 2,000 pounds inside the trailer. Yeah, I only got two sleds in here right now. Pulled the other one out, it's gonna stay back. But I'm gonna say about 5,000 pounds, four or 5,000 pound range payload. What do you guys think I'm gonna get with the old Cummins? It's gonna be my first trip towing with this, uh, this trailer loaded up with this truck and putting some miles on it. What do you think? I'm thinking, I'm gonna think about 12 miles per gallon. If I got better, I'd, that'd be even ecstatic. But believe it or not, the weight of these trailers, man, it, it doesn't matter the weight. It's something about the size of these and in the wintertime and the speeds in Michigan, they just don't get great fuel economy. That trailer behind us in the background is about 12, 13,000 pounds loaded up. And there ain't much difference in fuel economy pulling that versus this for 5,000 pounds. So let me know what you think. I'm gonna be real curious. We're gonna get some cold weather. I'm gonna be curious to see how this uh, Cummins does in, in this cold of weather, so. Well, first trip of the year. Curious to see how we're gonna do in fuel economy. Just getting the truck filled up and I'll do a hand calculated um, once we get there to do straight 100% highway towing. We might have to do a little bit of four wheel drive towing, I hate to say today, cause it's snowing a little bit and the roads were not, not perfectly clear on the way here. So we'll see how it turns out. Filling up every time, I always try to do the 30 second method. 30 second method just to keep it consistent. There we go. Reset that. Trip. There we go. All right, settling in 72 miles per hour, sitting at about eight miles per gallon, eight to nine miles per gallon at these speeds. I'm kind of surprised and it's a little bit lower than I would have expected. I was just looking at the boost running 13 PSI. Tire pressure, everything's good there. I'm not in any sort of region. I would have expected a little bit higher. But it is cold. We have a west-southwest wind. I was wondering if maybe that could have had a little bit of an impact, but it shouldn't hurt it. See the trailer there? You can see consistently nine, 10 miles per gallon. Okay, so I did confirm we did have a bit of a headwind, and right now I'm at 73 mile per hour, which is on the dash, but actual speed probably is more like 76 miles per hour right there, because I'm off about 4%. So that's actually not too bad. And you'll kind of see here towards the end of this video, it actually does pretty decent considering this situation. I talked to a guy pulling the same size trailer at the gas station with the new 2023 Ford Super Duty with the 7.3 liter gas. And he was towing 10 mile per hour slower than me and he was getting about seven miles per gallon. So I'd say the Cummins is doing really great. All right, all right, 16.7 gallons. 182 miles. Let's see what that comes out hand calculated. All right, so computer said 11.2, hand calculated was 11.3. Not too bad towing the trailer. Okay, so we made the trip back home, and I have to say, I'm really happy with this Cummins. You know, it has four less gears than my last Super Duty, but this Cummins makes so much torque at that 1500 to 2000 RPM range. In a ways, I almost liked it a little bit better at steady state on the highway than the 10 speed on the Ford, just because it was. It was straight up sitting at six gear all the time, 60 to 80 mile per hour. Very happy with the fuel economy. I don't think that's that bad considering there was actually three remote starts added into that. And um, we could have even improved upon the numbers. We have a lot more towing ahead of us here in the next upcoming few weeks all over Northern Michigan. So I'll have some more content. I also want to give a little bit of review now of getting some miles towing with the Falcon Wild Peak AT3 tires. So far, I'm pretty impressed with these tires. Thanks for watching.